There are several moves in the chin form where you raise your knee and then step into the next move mm -hmm. or the end of the, the, the previous move. Mm -hmm. My question has to do with uh, what is the purpose of that high stepping? Because it looks like even in the smooth, you know, really experienced chin masters, they are still raising that knee up. I, I tend to have a feeling a lot of times whenever it, that I'm stepping sort of artificially and there's no energy or purpose in that move. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this, uh, this is a pretty easy answer. Uh, you had also uh, pointed out the first time you asked the question, uh, it seems like they, they are moving so naturally and smoothly, right? You can Google a lot of them or see a lot of them on the YouTube, and they pick up their knee kind of effortlessly, but when you pick it up, it feels kind of disconnected, right? Correct. Okay. So um, this has to do with uh, the lower back, okay? So when you pick up the knee, you can't just pick it up in chin style, you can't just pick up the knee because that would make you lose your balance and it would feel disconnected. So, um, yeah, I can take the very first move of the form, okay? Okay, here's a, a knee that's being picked up, okay? So I'm going to pick up my knee. If I just pick it up, I'll feel kind of up and off balance and not connected and it would seem like, why should I even pick it up? Why don't I just step it forward? Well, to pick it up, you have to feel the pelvis come in naturally. So when you come up, the, this gives you balance. So you've come and you've pushed, circled on the opening move. I have to pull it up and tuck it in. Okay? And then step and step. So the picking the knee up gives you balance. Okay? If you bring it in. Okay. This, the purpose is to keep the, keep the connection. The application, of course, when you pick up the knee, is that you could be striking, right? Okay. But you can't hold the strike as one of the moves, like striking the knee before you sit down. That's the application, Chong Jun Sai. Does that answer your question? Yes, uh, one, one other part there, place that I have trouble with is going into the brush knee, the first brush uh, knee. Mm -hmm. It seems the, that whole thing there, and then your okay, yeah. The next, the second brush knee. Okay, so you're here and you're coming in and you're stepping. You're what you're talking about that knee coming yeah. up. Okay, yeah, that does come up. Sometimes feel kind of awkward. So on the first uh, knee coming up, so we're doing the brush knee series, and the hands come down again. If you just bring your knee up, you're just like on a stick about to fall over. So when you come down and you bring your knee up you have a sinking still. Then when you step, you're right there to do the, to do the movement. Right, so an e it makes the transi transition easier and more connected. Okay. Does that answer it? I think so, yes. Okay.